Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a realistic day in my life as a pharmacy student in my hospital rotations. So first thing is first, 7.30 in the morning, I go to my first class, which is self-care pharmaceuticals. And basically this class is going over like most of the medications that are over the counter. And it's a very, very good class because you actually get to talk in person. And it's like you really go through tough situations that you usually wouldn't go through in class. And you actually get to like work with a person and role play almost. And it's kind of fun for that reasoning. But the only thing I don't like about this class is the fact that it's 7.30 in the morning, so I have to wake up like super early just to get there, and it's in person. So it's a good thing it's in person, but it's also a bad thing it's in person. So after that class, which is in the basement, I had to run up to the third floor, which is literally four flights of stairs, just so I can get a classroom that is secure and no one's gonna actually go into. And then I prepare for my next class, which is my case studies class, which is actually a pretty interesting class because we go over different patients and different care settings. So each time it's a different scenario and actually puts you on your feet. And the main thing I like about this class is the fact that like you learn something new each time. This class, we had a patient that had a lot of different chronic disease states. And the main thing for us to focus on was the most important one right now. Even though we could use a lot more treatment, we just really have to focus on one drug therapy, see how that works and then monitor him for later on, which is actually really, really good to do because in class, you usually talk about like giving him every single thing possible. But today it was like very important just to focus on one thing, make sure that works. And the next time when he comes in again, we can focus on the next thing and you know, divide and conquer. So it's pretty good. After that class, I decided to go straight to the library because I am super behind on studying for my exam, which is in a couple of days. So today I went to study my drug-induced hematological disorders, which basically just means any blood disorders that are caused by drugs. And honestly, most of these are pretty rare, but it's important to understand how to treat them and how to manage them as well as the symptoms that happen if it does happen. Because if it does happen, it can be very, very fatal to some patients. So that's very, very important. So I basically just went over a quick guideline of what I did know and what I didn't know. And then from there, I can hopefully help myself study a little bit less so that when I do make my active recall questions, I know what to focus on instead of just focusing on the entire material. After accomplishing the outline of three full lectures and the fact that I was simply starving, I decided to go home and take a quick nap for about 30 minutes to an hour before I started heading to the hospital and start my rotation. So I just want to interrupt this video and say that recently I got my new rotation schedule, which I'm actually super excited about because I'll be starting in literally less than two months. So I cannot wait to share with you guys my experiences. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and check it out because I'm going to be posting a lot more about what I'm actually doing day to day. And I also have some new upgrades that I'm going to be buying really, really soon. So I'm actually very excited for those as well coming in the mail. So yeah. So once I arrive at the hospital, I have to make sure I sign in. So you start work around 4.30 to 5 o'clock-ish, but I have to make sure I get a COVID test today, which is my second test for the week. And I can say that honestly, it just never gets any easier. Like I've been doing COVID clinics like for the last since I think December. And to this day, I still have problems getting this test. And every single time I get there, my nose just feels like it's on fire. And I also like I have allergies too, which doesn't really help with this process. But overall, I just gotta get it done. Now that I'm fine, but I start work, I just wanted to share with you guys something that I thought was pretty cool, which is the system the hospitals use to pack pills versus vials in the community setting. Cause I'm used to have seen the vials and I used to see like these like packed pills all the time when I was in pharmacy, but I never actually got to see the process of it, which I thought was pretty cool to show you guys real quickly. So they actually put in each drug individually and then they have this heat compress, which is at like 285 degrees and then they pill pack it, which is pretty cool. And then actually the word, the patient can just like pop out the pills. <laughs> And today wasn't really a high mission day, so I didn't really do that much else. So basically my entire shift, I just helped the interns or the techs pack the pills and do paperwork for administration office. I don't really want to bore you guys with this material because I just did that the entire day. And today we really had low emissions. I think we had like three emissions today. So that pretty much wasn't really that much. So I decided to work on some assignments. And I noticed that in the hospital, you have a lot of time to do like a lot of side assignments. So there's a lot of times you have like to do like a couple of work, but then you get like maybe like an hour or 30 minutes extra on the side. So after that, I clock out at 10.30 and that's pretty much the end of my day. I'll catch you guys next one. Peace out. Bye.